Hey everybody, welcome back. Recently I've had some questions in regards to uh, the flex that is on the bug outs, the Benchmade bug outs, the 535 and then the 535 GRY-1. Now what I have here is a couple of uh, bug outs that I've modified and then one that's stock. So what people are talking about is uh, the FRN plastic that they use. This is the Ranger Green uh, from Benchmade bug out. Um, this is a 535 GRY-1. This is 100% uh, factory OEM. And what comes into play on these is to make them really lightweight. I don't know if you can see in there or not. Let's see if we can get in there. They are um, skeletonized a little bit. You can see just a little bit. Anyways, there's some um, skeletonization that happens down in here. And the reason being, see just a little tiny bit right there. Anyways, when you're doing this, people um, say, oh, you're gonna break it um, because there's some flex. So, not sure if you can see that. They do flex a little bit. Let's see if we do it right here. So there's a little bit of flex to those handles, uh, those scales, but you know, centering still dead on center. I know that's been an issue in the past. Uh, they've corrected a lot of that, so that's great. Um, even closed, let's see if we can see it a little bit better here. There's some flex that goes on. So you can kind of see that, hopefully. Flex, there we go. Flex wise, you can see a little bit of the flex. Now, in talking, ooh, excuse me, in talking with a lot of people um, that have worked on these, uh, Benchmade, very few have broke. Um, usually it comes to, you know, if you have the knife out and you're flexing a lot of pressure on it, and this is where you get some of your pressure on your handle and your scales, because this, you know, does not have a full liner it could snap these. So normal flex, everything else, makes them lightweight, pretty great. But question came up, on the other stuff that I have, does it flex? So first off, let's look at this one. This is uh, some titanium anodized scales from uh, Rock Scale Design. I'll put a link to all of these manufacturers of scales and the uh, obviously the Benchmade one in there. So you can look at both of them. Uh, flex wise, zero zero flex uh, it's titanium full titanium backspacer even uh, if you want to check out how these went on uh, check out my website my YouTube channel here I got videos on every single one of these and including a couple overviews uh, so next we'll look at these are the uh, Putman like a G10 and you can see kind of how it's milled out on the outside and then there is some milling on the inside as well but it's hard to see there there's a little bit of flex to these. Uh, we'll see if we can show that. So it's probably half of what OEM flex is. But you can still hear it. It still flexes a little bit. Um, any of these, you know, the G10 or the plastic, you know, it's not going to put up to crazy amounts of abuse um, just because of the material. So, and then we'll go with uh, Micarta, which was... Uh, Kind of a limited run done by Rogue Blade Works. And we'll see kind of if there's flex on this one. Little tiny bit of flex. So probably about the same as the uh, G10 uh, on these Micarta. And the Micarta scales are great. Hopefully they come out with another, another material like that because I, I enjoy that one quite a bit. And then finally, these are the carbon fiber ones from Rogue Blade Works. And flex wise, um, these barely flex anything at all. So you can see in there, there's just little to no flex and I'm putting a lot of pressure on them. So anyways, you know, if you're looking for something to totally replace what's going on, I would say I would recommend the um, carbon fiber from Rogue Blade Works, or straight up titanium from Rock Scale Design. And one thing about the titanium is you're gonna add some weight to it. Um, and I think we can do that really quick here. Let's do a quick weigh down. Got some tools, some equipment. Sorry about that, we'll get all this going real quick. Don't mind my blinds there. 
Okay. Got to get to the right one, sorry. That's probably already on it. Okay, so we're at ounces. So let's go with factory 1.88. That's factory, 1.88 of an ounce, factory uh, 535 GRY-1 bug out with the Putman scales G10 1.98 with the Micarta from Rogue Blade Works 1.97. So almost the same as the G10. Uh, we'll go with the carbon fiber from Rogue Blade Works, 1.96, almost 1.7 or 1.97. So all three of those are about the same weight wise. And then probably the heaviest is going to be your rock scale design. So adds about another three quarters of an ounce, so 2.5 ounces on that. So top to bottom, your heaviest. These three are all within a hundredths of an ounce and lightweight wise. And then your original is going to be the lightest at 1.88, 1.87. Nope. There's 1.88 even. So anyways, hope this is helpful. Hope, hopefully this answers a little bit of questions to you guys. I really appreciate everything. Uh, keep the comments coming and thanks for everything you guys do. Have a great week and take care.